Hi everyone, welcome to another episode of Identity in 15. Today's session is on verifiable credentials with Microsoft Entra and WSO2 Identity Server. I'm Tisara Vermiller, Senior Software Engineer working at WSO2 Identity and Access Management team. What is verifiable credentials? It's simply, verifiable credentials are like ID cards, license, but in a digital form which contain the digital credentials securely in a digital wallet. These verifiable credentials are capable of providing a secure, temporary and cryptographically verifiable way and able to verify the credentials without involving the issuer while providing full control and ownership to the credential holder. In a previous Identity in 15 episode, we conduct a session on verifiable credentials with Matter and WSO2 Identity Server. And today, we'll try the same with the Microsoft Entra. To make it easy to understand how verifiable credentials can be used, let's look into the example scenario. We'll use the same as in the previous session. So, here is the Bob, whose birthday is on June 27th, and here's the Crusty Cap offers a 30% discount on their customer's birthday. To claim the offer, Bob can prove his birthday via verifiable credentials which have been offered by a trusted party, for example, the government. The example scenario consists of two parts, holding claim, hold a claim in verifiable credentials from the issuer and then hold a presence requested, requested credentials to the verifier and credential verification. Let's have a look at the verifiable credential issuing flow. Here, the organization wants to offer verifiable credentials to the POP, where the Microsoft Entra supports issuing credentials while WSO2 Identity Server authenticate the POP and provide the required claims to offer the credentials. First, the issue organization create a Microsoft Verified ID issuer to offer credentials, then generate a QR code. The user who wants to claim the credentials can scan the QR code via Microsoft Authenticator mobile wallet. He is required to authenticate the WSO2 INT provider to claim verifiable credentials. Moving to the credential verification flow, here the verifier requests credentials from the user who holding credentials in their mobile wallet. For that, verify is required to create a presentation request and generate a QR code based on it. So, user can view the request and response with a verifiable presentation. Now, let's see how we can configure Microsoft Entra and WSO2 ID server to offer verifiable credential and credential verification. First, we need to create an Azure Keyword instance to store the public and private key generated by the Verified ID service. Sign in to the Azure portal and from the home page, select Create a Resources and select Key Wallet. Here, any name you prefer and let's keep the default values for other configurations. Also, we need to set access policies for the Key Wallet. You need to define access policies for both Verified ID Service Administrator account and the Request Service API principal. For that, go to the Access Configurations, select Wallet Access Policy, select the user account that you need to configure access policies, tick the sign checkbox under the cryptographic operations and all the key management operations and save the changes. Second part of configuring Microsoft Azure for verifiable credentials, we need to register an application in Azure AD and grant API permission to invoke the Microsoft Entra verified ID. Let's use a Microsoft verifiable credential sample web application. Select Azure Active Directory. Select App Registration from the left menu and click New Registration. Here, any name you prefer. And for the supported account type, select first option and register. Now, we need to grant permission to the application to access the verifiable credential service request principle. Select API permission from the left menu, click add a permission and select APIs from my organization users. 
select verifiable credential service request under the application permission check verifiable credential create all here select grant admin consent for your tenant name next we need to create a client secret for the registered application from the left menu select certificates and secrets and click new client secret provide description and click add be sure to keep a record of client secret you will need this value for the configuration in a later step the third part of configuring microsoft azure for verifiable credentials we need to create and set up a verified id service instance for that click verified id click update under define organization settings enter an organization name and a trusted domain this domain binds your decentralized id to something that tangible user might know about your business for this demo i have deployed a sample web application in versal where you record a host some did well known files on this site select the key wallet you created previously for the key wallet when you set up the verified ID, the access policies in the Azure Key Wallet are automatically updated to give the required permission for the service principle of the verified ID. Save the changes. Now we can register your decentralized ID. Click register under register decentralized ID to register DID document. Copy or download the DID document and host the JSON file in the well-known directory on your web server. After hosting the file, click refresh uh, registration status. If the system can access the hosted file, it is indicated by a green tick on the status. As a last step here, verify domain ownership to establish the trust between the DID and the domain. Click the verify under verify domain ownership. Copy or download the manifest file and host it under the well-known directory of your web server. After hosting the file, click refresh uh, verification status. If the system can access the hosted file, it will be indicated by a green tick on the status. On the Azure portal, go to the previously configured verified ID service and select credential from the left menu. Click add a credential and select custom credentials as the credential type and click next. On the credential creation page, provide a unique credential name. And here, adjust the JSON content under the display definition as per your requirement. Here, define the visual appearance of the card. And here, define the consent messages. And here, we define claims that user issuer is going to offer as verifiable credentials. Now, configure the rules definitions. Here also adjust the JSON content under the rules definition as per your requirement. For the client ID, provide the client ID received from the create WSO2 IS server application. For the configurations, provide the OpenID connect identity provider metadata discovery endpoint of the WSO2 IS server. For the redirect URL, the you, the URL to which the authorization code is sent upon the user authentication. For the scope, provide the scope required from the WSO2 IS server application. For the mapping, the output and input claim mapping for the verifiable credentials and the WSO2 IS server. Now we need to configure WSO2 IS server as the OID attribute provider. 
already i have made the step reset to is uh, it is server uh, version 6.1 up and running then you try now this if you are running the server on your local machine you need to set up the ngrok and do some additional server configurations you can find the required steps that need to be done in the blog that is mentioned in the description here we need to create a oidc application on the is server Log into the management console and navigate to the application creation section. Here provide any name you prefer and click register button. Expand the inbound authentication configuration and select auth open ID connect configurations. A callback URL provide PC client call and double slash open ID slash an untick support pixie plane transform algorithm checkbox and tick allow authentication without the client secret checkbox save the changes click add the button be sure to copy the client id and client secret displayed on the page under the claim configuration at the claim that is issuer is going to offer as verifiable credentials and make them all mandatory Finally, click the update button. Now, we need to create a user account for Bob. Navigate to the user creation section and provide required values and create the user account. Then go to the create, newly created user account and provide the values for the attribute that the issuer is going to offer as verifiable credentials. With that, the pso 2 is server configurations are done. Now, we can try out the verifiable credential flaw with the Azure Node.js sample application. Clone this GitHub repository and to do the required configurations, navigate to the config.json file. For the Azure tenant ID, provide the ID of your Azure tenant. You can get this from the overview section of the Azure Active Directory. For the Azure client ID, Provide the client ID of the Azure application. You can get this from the created application in the Azure Active Directory. For the Azure client secret, provide the client secret you created for the Azure application. For the credential manifest, provide the manifest URL received from the verified ID. And finally, for the issuer authority and the verifier authority, provide the verifier authority from your verified ID. You can leave the rest of configurations empty, then navigate to the presentation request config.json file and modify the accepted issuers to the your VC issuer authorities and the type to your VC type under the requested credentials object as per your VC configurations. Now all the configurations are completed, please note that to try out the verifiable credential flow, the website must be available via a public URL. I have already up and running a Shure verifiable credential node sample application. First, let's try the credential issue view flow. Open your Microsoft Authenticator app and go to the verified ID stack and scan the QR code. Signing with the user account you added previously in the WS2 IU server.
provide the consent to share the claims with the credential issuer. After successful authentication, you can add the CrystalCrab credentials to your wallet. You can view the user details you receive from the WSO2 IS server by clicking the verifiable credential card inside the wallet. Now let's try the credential verification flow. Scan the QR code using the Microsoft Authenticator app and share the credential. The sample web application now receives the user details from the CustomGraph credential. This is all for today's session. If you have any questions, you can ask them from our community channels. Stack offer, Discord channel, our product team is more than happy to help you. Thank you. Stay tuned for another identity in 15 episodes.